Yo, what's up guys? Damon here. Today I'm going to show you guys a Pike mid game. And this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be Pike with Eclipse. What's going on there? So, you guys might wonder, Dave, why would you ever build Eclipse on Pike? And is Eclipse on Pike good? Um, I think Eclipse on Pike is a solid 7 out of 10 when you build it in the right games. And what do you, what do I mean by the right games? I mean against melee champions, okay? When I play against champions like Silas, Irelia, Yasuo, Yone, these type of heavy fighting melee champions, I think Eclipse has a lot of value against these champs. And I'm playing it's a new to mid, so it's a little bit different, but it'll still, we'll still get the same effect. So I'm gonna start E here, punish him snowballing. I think what I could have done is tank the snowball there. Nunu is asking for dating advice in all chat. Maybe I should help him out. Should I let this girl know I'm into her? Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, when I go Eclipse on Pike, I make sure to take Ingenious Hunter. At least try my best to. The problem with like the runes is you're going to have to know that you're playing Eclipse. Okay, let me do the same thing on him here. Oh, never mind, I missed it. Kind of hard to contest this. Let's go one down. He's going to run bot lane here. So realistically against Nunu, I should be contesting that snowball. I should tank the snowball and then try to fight him. But it's alright, we can just farm anyways. So you won't be going Eclipse every game on Pike. Uh, it's definitely only into melee. Nunu is going to kill my bot lane, unfortunately. I tried my best. So into like ranged champions, I would go Duskblade still. I think Duskblade is still Pike's best mythic overall. Prowess is good as well. But we're just going to keep farming here. It's whatever. But when you're playing it's like really melee heavy team comps, I don't see much value in Dustblade. I find a lot more value in Eclipse because it allows me to play like frontline and tank a lot of damage. And as you guys will see when we get the item, it allows you to play super aggro. And with the combination of Ingenious Hunter, which reduces the cooldown of Prowlers, or sorry, well cooldowns of Prowlers, but uh, Eclipse as well. Uh, the, it'll allow you to just tank even more damage in fights. So we missed Snowball, let's contest this. I'll do EQ here. Don't think we'll kill. Okay, pop barrier. I mean, I can keep autoing, but there's not too much to gain here. For your items in mid lane as Pike, always go D shield, by the way. You can go longsword if you really want to, if you feel super confident. But D shield is just like Pike's bet, one of his best items in the game. So no need to ignite here. Could have ignited, but it wouldn't have killed. Just checking out my echo. Big thing is just like not missing very much farm. If there's anything I consistently do on Pike mid every single game is try to farm the best I can in the early game. Because the early game is the only time you'll ever be able to farm on Pike. But I also like to play aggro, so maybe we could try to find a hook here. We're getting ganked by enemy team all support. Um, there's really not much for me to do here. Let's play safe. The biggest, um, the biggest drawback to building Eclipse is there's no haste on the item. That's the biggest, is biggest issue. So when you build Eclipse, you'll always want to build some sort of haste after it. So this game, I could go Umbral second. Umbral second would be good as well. It gives me haste and lethality. I keep hitting this Nunu, but I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. Heals so much. Okay, I gotta get out. They have nastiest jungle this game. Could go for Q flash here. Cool. Save my ignite because I knew I didn't need to use it. Keep autoing this guy. If he keeps fighting me, I'll ignite Q. EQ ignite will kill him most likely if he walks up. Or I could go for a hook right now. And then pop ignite maybe. Do I need to? Sure, let's do it. Just to be safe. Okay, cool. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is a very weird game. I don't know why I'm playing against Nunu Nasus, but it's still gonna show a pretty decent example of why I like to build Eclipse. And um, once we get the item, I'll kind of explain how to use it as well. Because using Eclipse is a little bit confusing. I wouldn't say confusing, but you, you really need to understand. So. I'll say right now, like the way you proc Eclipse on Pike is hook auto, Q auto, but there's also some um, other ways to proc Eclipse that's really important. Because when you're playing team fights with Eclipse Pike, your goal is to tank as much damage as possible with the shield. Because Pike can't build health, right? Pike can't build tanky, it, d it just doesn't work. Like you can build tank items, but they're really not very effective. But the big bonus to Eclipse is that it's a shield. And the shield like is going to work no matter what. Uh, let's try to just burst this guy down. I'm waiting out his Q heal. Maybe one more auto we can kill. Back up and then R. I back up so that the Nunu E doesn't um, snare me. If I got snared, I might have not been able to ulti there. 
But yeah, I'd say Nunu is one of the easier matchups. Um, it definitely can be hard though to play against Nunu because he could have been like killing my bot lane. Just perma roam, perma shove. You should be fighting Nunu though. You should always be fighting Nunu mid as Pike. Like you can never let Nunu push too much and just like get away with it for free. You want to be contesting him. Just because that's the only way to beat him. If you let him roam, then the game is just going to fall apart. So here I could look towards the bot side. I think I will reset though. So just so I can, yeah. Bot waves on the turret, like there's no way to do anything here. I look for roam timers when I crash wave on enemy turret. Right before I recall sometimes, just kind of like look around for my options. But my number one focus is just staying mid lane and farming well and maybe like solo killing as well. Depends on the matchup. Now I would never suggest going Eclipse if they have like a full range comp, okay? Like three melees is a decent Eclipse game. But if they have three range, then I probably wouldn't go Eclipse. The only time I would go Eclipse into three range is if it's a melee mid laner and I feel like I really need the Eclipse. Uh, number one example would be Silas. I think the best Mythic into Silas as Pike is Eclipse. It allows you to actually play the game at least a little bit against Silas. If you have Dustblade versus Silas, you really can't do much. Uh, I'm just gonna wait this out. I can pull him out of this ulti into my turret, but maybe oh, not the turret. Should cancel that a bit faster. So whatever. The problem is he might roam here. Uh, looks like he's egoing on me, so we will be pulling him into me. Just get another R here. I don't think he's expecting my damage very well. That's really strange. I guess he thinks that he can fight me with chain vest, but that is not the case, my friend. So we need what 300 gold for Eclipse. We'll probably stay for it. We could base for boots as well. My boots are always CDR boots, by the way, guys. No matter what build I'm doing on Pike, I'm going CDR boots. Whether it's mid lane, support, top, jungle. Pike's best boots are CDR boots. This champion loves haste. And haste is very important, especially when you're building something like Eclipse as well. Eclipse gives me no haste, so I need to go CDR boots to at least get a little bit. So I just walk this out, get close to my turret, or get close to the wall, and then I can heal the wall. Ping the ward for gold as well. Get five gold if you ping wards. Okay, so now we have the Eclipse. Um, I don't know the math for Ingenious Hunter. I only have two stacks. Uh, I don't know how much is getting reduced. I know this cooldown is eight seconds. Yeah. Eight second cooldown on Eclipse gets reduced by however much from two stacks. Now we need to... Our goal is to get five stacks on Ingenious. It's not that big of a deal though. It's just more like by, you know, 20 minutes, we you, you really need this to be fully stacked. That's the only downside of Ingenious Hunter, is sometimes you'll be like three stacks for the entire game, but at least you're still getting some use out of it. So I'll ping Nunu. Guys, whenever you're playing mid lane, and you think enemy mid laner can roam, just ping it. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Like, my teammates aren't gonna listen, but at least I'm putting in the effort. So that there's a small chance my bot lane sees it. Seems like they're outplaying it. Oh, they are not able to outplay it. That's alright, just keep playing mid. I'll play for plates here. I don't have to follow this guy, right? It doesn't even matter if he's killing my ball lane, really. I mean, it does matter. He got big bounty, but I can still get a lot of gold out of his roam as well. I can get this turret plate. I mean, breaking mid turret is also just a really good way to open up the game. When mid turret drops is when you just have so many more options. So now I'm going to farm for my CDR boots. And once I get CDR boots is when I can really start to fight. But I mean, I can fight right now. I, I have mythic advantage on everyone. So I'll probably go for an EQ on Teemo here. Yep. Got his flash, I'll auto once, get the R. I don't think I need to ignite this guy. I'll wait for my Q just so the R is going to land no matter what. Q, R. He slowed from the Q, he has no way to dodge, okay? It's a really easy way to land Pike R. He's either hook into R or melee Q into R. Okay, so we can fight this. This would be a good showing of Eclipse. I'll bait him, like run away, make him think that he can kill me. Okay, we'll do Q auto for the Eclipse shield and then go in. Pop ignite here, maybe he has ult. Okay, that's fine too. I can tank one turret shot with Eclipse here. Actually, never mind, the Q's gonna kill. So, that didn't block too much, but we got 100 damage dealt and 30 damage blocked. The Eclipse damage is also really, really strong, by the way, guys. Like, I mainly build Eclipse for the shield, but the damage is actually pretty good. Like, I got 100 damage out of it there. Although, I think that was on the other champs as well. But hey, like, even though, even though you're building it for shield, you still get this bonus damage, which is really dope. It's like very similar damage to Dustblade. The only thing is Dustblade gives you more lethality and more haste. But I really like to be able to frontline on Pike. That, that's 
been kind of my favorite way to play him recently is playing frontline and, and playing to, to tank spells for people. Because if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like mid pike right now, solo lane pike, it's very hard to carry on. The champ's just so nerfed that mid pike is now just kind of a supportive supportive champ. So let's fight the Nunu here. I mean, I've I'm so tanky. I feel like I can just fight this for free. Waiting for my eclipse. I'll go on Nasus. Maybe have to flash. Ooh, I'm probably dead. Ooh, damn. Okay, well, I tanked almost everything from them. Maybe we could win the fight off that. I got a little bit greedy there, I'm not gonna lie. Already 400 damage blocked, though. And then 150 dealt. The big thing there is I don't have any haste, right? So once I use my spells, I just, like, I have to wait so long for my cooldowns to come back up. But now we have Ionian. It'll be very different. But yeah, there's already so much use out of this. There's a 200 shield, 200 health shield. And then I'm doing 6% six per, six of their max health as damage as well. Only issue is we need to get Aatrox and Kai'Sa. We need to get kills on those guys. But let's try to farm mid, maybe. Now, um, there's a lot of second items you can do with this build. Uh, I did one yesterday in high elo. I played Eclipse into Frozen Heart. Because there are a lot of AD champions. Uh, I think Frozen Heart's definitely buildable on Pike if you're against a like, heavy AD team. I think Eclipse Frozen Heart's actually a really solid build as well. It's not the greatest thing of all time, but Frozen Heart gives you haste and it gives you um, a lot of armor. So if you're playing against a full AD team, I mean, even this team I kind of could, but they're not that heavy on AD. They have two AP threats. But I want to build Lethality so I can just carry harder. If you're building Frozen Heart, it's mainly so that your team has some sort of tanky front line. So go on Kaisa here because I know she has no R. She killed me Thor last time. Go for EQ. Missed the EQ. Oh, it's getting bad. Oh, we messed up. So we'll just have to play this slow. Might have to flash. Wait for my W. Oh, I should have flashed. That's my bad. I got so greedy there. So that that combo I do a lot is EQ. Like try to E through them the Q to land the E. But it's really risky and can definitely backfire a lot. And that is an example of it backfiring. But to be fair, if I flashed away, I probably could have double killed them. But it's no biggie. A big problem I had there was that I couldn't proc Eclipse as well because of the Teemo blind, right? With Eclipse, I only need two autos. You need two hits, okay? Two hits from either a spell, auto attack, or ignite. But I couldn't get my auto attacks off because of Teemo blind. So building Eclipse into Teemo is actually pretty tough. Because I think there's a pretty good chance of me living if I just proc my Eclipse. Would have tanked an entire Kaisa auto. Let's maybe try again. Um, the problem is Kaisa R will be back up this time. But I see them going for recall, so I'm going to chase out this recall. Maybe go for Teemo. Just to walk up to him here. Pull him back into turret. There we go. Go for Kaisa as well. Wait for my Eclipse. Eclipse is up. I can Q flash auto here, or I can just walk up with Q. That works as well. We can go for EQ again. EQ. Good. She is cleansed. Okay. This is my favorite combo. My favorite way to land stun most of the time is EQ. It's the hardest for people to deal with, but I mean, last time I died was going for that EQ and missing. So look at the damage blocked already. 800 damage blocked. I mean, I have, I really haven't fought too much and I haven't had this item for very long. But I, I want to show also you can use, uh, you can use Ignite to proc Eclipse. So a way to proc Eclipse really fast is auto Ignite or Q Ignite or something. If you, like, absolutely need Eclipse to proc or you're gonna die, you can Q Ignite and it'll insta-pop. So, I'll try to show right here if he walks up. So, right there. Q Ignite, my Eclipse gets popped. I need to dodge that Kaisa W. Maybe try to chase Teemo here. I could have won that fight, but I wanted to show the Q Ignite. Okay. Kiting, kiting, kiting. I need to be a bit careful. I can use my Eclipse Shield to tank, but I need my E to be up so that I can run away if I get too low. So let's look for Hook here. Hook Auto. I get Eclipse Shield. Nudu can't really do much. Get my Triumph proc as well. We keep fighting this, waiting for Eclipse. Q Auto will proc it again. And then back up. Wait for his heal. And then... Oh. He tried to bury it. That's funny. So if you notice, I'm always playing around this Eclipse cooldown. I'm waiting for my ability cooldowns and my Eclipse as well. Let's try to kill this guy. Uh-oh. This is the one guy that really messes with me. Oh, the Teemo Shroom. I might need to Eclipse. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Okay, if I can Q auto, Q auto E. Oh, oh. Maybe just E auto, but it's really risky. I'm, I don't have enough mana for it. Q auto. Oh, I'm withered, man. These champions, they don't let me auto attack. <laughs> I have to go for hook, though. If I land hook, I can instantly auto and then get the shield and then use my stun. Dude, Team Onassis, though, I can never auto attack. Um, so for third item, third item, I could do Frozen Heart, I could do Maw, I could do Death Dance, I could go like Edge and Knight. Third item is definitely very flexible. Next patch, maybe I could do Axie Mark, because Axie Mark's getting buffed. They're adding 8 Lethality to this item, which is pretty massive. I don't know if I would build it, but it's definitely a better option next patch. But for this game, I think I'll do... Mm, hard to say, actually. Could do Hydra as well. I like Hydra this game. Just for um, Ooh, it's kinda it's kinda tough though, but we'll go Hydra. A big advantage to this third item is it's gonna give me even more Omnivamp. So Eclipse is already giving me what 7%? Yeah, 7% Omnivamp. I'll go Eclipse or I'll go Hydra. It'll give me more Omnivamp and the haste that I want, and then a bunch of AD as well. I wouldn't suggest going Hydra a lot on Pike, but if you feel like you can carry. If you feel like you really need the damage, then yeah, you can go high track. So I'll go for Kaisa here. I'll go for hook E. I think she's in the bush. I'll just go for E. W. Okay, it's getting a little tough. Go for Nasus here. Try to help my AD. Cool. We can keep chasing as well. I'll go for wall. I think they're down. Yeah, okay. So we'll go this way. I don't think I can get Kaisa. We'll fight Nunu here. Double auto prox eclipse. And then Q R to Q. Q auto are there. Try to E plus cone. Almost hit the stun. Should be a pretty good fight for me. This will proc Eclipse. Autos me. I take two autos. Wait for my Eclipse. I'll do Q Ignite here. EQ Ignite. Actually, just Q auto should work too. Q auto. Cool. Eclipse blocks all the damage again. Look, 2k. 2k damage blocked. I have four stacks of Ingenious. This is when it's very low cooldown. I would love to get this Aatrox kill though for the last stack. Hmm should farm up so nasus has frozen heart i won't be able to fight him yeah this is actually so awkward to play against okay let's uh, let's run let's run oh my god what is that double snowball qe will proc eclipse oh it was too late oh no i need to e auto ignite here for eclipse shield and then maybe keep playing slow with eclipse i'll do enough damage i need to land my abilities though i think his healing might be too much we go Okay, let's get the blast going here. Man, that wither is so annoying. That is tough to play against. Maybe try to look in jungle again. I don't, ah, we can just farm mid. We need to get this Hydra. That's what we're looking for. I have Omni Vamp and a red buff. Oh wow, yeah, so I should be healing a lot off mini wave here. Problem is they're gonna fight me. Oh, I might be dead here, guys. Oh, stun the snowball, but it just does not matter. Wither is so broken. That ability makes me so mad. I cannot believe how OP that is. And now I'm 100 gold off Hydra, man. Okay. Well, you know, they're going to play against champions that make it hard to auto. I didn't really think about this, though. Nasus Teemo really mess with my Eclipse. But it's still done so much. 2.2k blocked. I could wait for gold here. No, my teammates are smurfing. Once I get this, um, here, let me turn on this music just a tiny bit. It's having too loud. Nah, I won't, I, I don't, I don't want to wait for the gold. It's only 60, but I want to go fight more. Now you might ask, like, should I build QSS against the Wither? And the answer is no. I should just play around it. But it's pretty hard to play around Wither, to be fair. But I do not like QSS. I don't think it's a very good item. Try to help the boys here. And by the boys, I mean just Echo. Maybe save him. Try to hook Aatrox, maybe. X range, nice. And then, uh, we won't win versus this guy, but... I don't know, man. I want to believe that I can win, but I really don't. Dude, I'm getting so mad, guys. I'm getting so mad. There's nothing I can do against this Nasus. 
There's literally nothing I can do. I just die. I can't get my Eclipse off because my attack speed goes to zero. Nasus is too OP. Riot Games, you must nerf this champion. You must nerf it. On the bright side, I got my fully stacking genius. Um, I don't know the math on this is the only thing, but I believe I'm getting like almost half of the cooldown reduced. It's going to like four or five second cooldown, which is pretty big. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you know, three or four seconds off this cooldown is very helpful for fights. When it's shielding me for 240 every time. Okay, so let's uh, play with my team here. I can deal with everyone but Nasus. Uh, my teammates can also kill Nasus, so I just need to run away every time that guy's near me. Because he is too OP. Oh, um, looks like they're playing top side. Might have to help my teammates mid. I'm gonna go clear some vision here because I have Umbral. Let's see if I can get some vision. Maybe some shrooms as well. Team of shrooms. Seems like the team is not showing up for this. I'll go in this bush. Because I'm pretty sure someone will face check. I just don't want to fight Nasus. Okay, well. I'll be running away. Running for my life here. They might go Baron as well. I have to be careful of the Baron play. Uh, we could go for EQ on Kaisei here. It's really risky, but it's a pretty good play to make. Okay, missed it. Just let my Eclipse block that damage. Take Lantern. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm taking a lot of damage. Q, Q Ignite for my shield. Then play safe here. Hook Aatrox. Try to get auto for Eclipse. He flashed. No, that's Mordekaiser Zerar. I'll have to peel my AD carry here. Pull Nasus away. Okay, Nasus has to dodge it. Keep playing slow here. I'll play for... I can play for that hook. I should peel though. Keep peeling. This Nunu. Okay, now we can keep going. Let my Eclipse tank some damage. Or this guy. Yep. Nine. Now we should be able to deal with Nasus now that we have numbers advantage. Just peel my ADC here, but also try to tank some damage maybe. I'll E forward. And then look for a hook. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Now we'll go for Teemo as well. Ooh, too much move speed. Very nice. And that, I mean, that Eclipse proc as well gave me the kill there. So 3k damage blocked and then 1k damage dealt. I mean, if I built Dustblade this game, the Dustblade would have uh, dealt about 300. Oh, they have heft. So you can just see from the, the amount of times I'm proccing Eclipse in these fights, it's just giving me so much utility. Now, I wouldn't say Eclipse is better than Dustblade, but in a game where you're against a lot of melee champs that you're going to fight a lot, then Eclipse has a lot of value and you can use it kind of like that. But what's super important is that you're using the Ignite to proc it. What's important is that you're proccing it as fast as possible. So Q auto, Q ignite, E ignite, just two hits is all you need to, to proc that Eclipse. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I have you. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. See ya.